Tomorrow night, stars will gather at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California, for the first big event of Hollywood's award season, the 81st annual Golden Globes. The ceremony honoring the best in movies and television will be hosted by comedian Joe Coy. And for the first time in 42 years, it will be broadcast right here on CBS. Carter Evans is in Los Angeles with a preview. And the Golden Globe goes to... Mr. Spielberg, step right up here. We the Golden Globes is one of Hollywood's biggest nights, a giant award show in a small ballroom packed with A-list celebrities where anything can happen. I was going to give this speech in Italian, but I'm too drunk because there was no food. The food, when we got there, they were like, the food is over. Of course, the open bar and numerous champagne bottles at every table often help fuel the fun. The Golden Globes has always had the reputation for being a little boozed up. But Mark Malkin, senior editor at Variety, says this year something else is putting people in the mood to party. After the writer's strike, the actor's strike, people in Hollywood are ready to sort of get out there, obviously promote their projects, but just celebrate and, you know, have fun. Um, the Golden Globes has always been known as sort of the big party of award season. A very good evening to everyone here in the room and to all the women and gay men watching at home. This is a real behind the scenes look. They are literally rolling out the red carpet right now and it's going to be a long walk for celebrities. CBS front and center. This is where our set will be. Gail King will talk to everybody first before they run the media gauntlet. Everybody's working feverishly here behind the scenes. This is the gauntlet and they call it the gauntlet for a reason. It's about 50, 60 yards of red carpet. On one side, you've got hundreds of cameras from all around the world. On the other side, you've got about 200 lucky fans. And imagine if you were renting one of these hotel rooms here, best seat in town. And staying true to tradition here at the Golden Globes, where it's known that the liquor flows freely. For the first time ever, they are building a bar right in the middle of the red carpet. Here's something most people don't get to see the day before the show. This is the ballroom, this is where the show takes place, but first you gotta get past this guy to get in. Inside the ballroom here, it's really close quarters. And that's one of the things that makes the Golden Globe so unique. Imagine all these celebrities shoulder to shoulder in here, 1,100 of them in this room. They're gonna be dining on sushi from Nobu. And look at this, a full bar right in the center of every table. Okay, so one of the perks you get when you work for the network that's broadcasting the show is excellent access. But there is one thing even I can't show you. It's just off screen here. It's the stage. They're doing something with it that they've never done before, and you're just going to have to wait till Sunday to see it. I'm half white, half Filipino. That's what I mean. Which means my dad was in the military. Comedian Joe Coy told us he got the call that he was hosting the show a little over a week ago. The minute the announcement was made that I was being the that I was going to be the host, that's the day I found out. It literally hit me out of out of nowhere, smacked me right in the face. So you got you're just a matter of days to work on this show. I think six months is usually the <laughs> the, the minimum for someone to prepare for something like this. I got about ten days maybe at the most. Previous host Ricky Gervais has been criticized for pushing the limits a little too far. Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... I'm doing something completely different out of the box, but I'm still going to be me, you know? Do you think there'll be any spontaneous opportunities? Always. I got to trust my gut, and that's the most important part. Despite the strike, there were some really good films that came out this year, for sure. I think we're going to see Barbenheimer, Barbenheimer, and Barbenheimer. This is the year of Barbie and Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to see them taking many, many awards. And then the big question also is, will Taylor Swift be there? Mm. Swift's new movie, The Heiress Tour, is nominated this year. And if she shows up, it's just one of the many surprises host Joe Coy will have to prepare for. You're comfortable in front of a big live audience. Does anything about this make you nervous at all? I mean, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but I mean, it's a different kind of nervous. Like I, I get excited for this and, and I get off on it. So 
I can't wait to walk out there. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Carter Evans in Beverly Hills. I like Joe Coy a lot. We've watched uh, oh, some of his uh, specials on Netflix. He's fun, um, so it should be. <laughs> I love how we. I love how we just found yeah, out. Just found out. Can you, days imagine, ago. can you imagine him saying, uh, "You know what? I have other plans." <laughs> Checking your phone. Oh, look at announcement. Yeah. Oh, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Ten days, but, but how exciting! By the way, can I get a ticket? <laughs> Oh, are, are you asking? Oh, ask, right? Here we go. Michelle Miller has yeah, a request. Go, I want a there. ticket. Try I'm to, flying out. How about a crash? Cry, do it. Well, you we heard it here. Thing. You know what? If, if you don't get that ticket, Michelle, you can still watch the Golden <laughs> Globes. Uh, they'll be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.